Okay, everyone, this video is about why is Hollywood impersonating, impersonates our Heavenly Father in other characters of the Bible. I'll tell you why. Because, because Satan knows his time is running up. And he put things in movies to see who can figure what out. Now, Hollywood is using Superman to impersonate the Messiah, the Father, King David, Samson, Samson, and Moses. Let me explain why. Samson has super strength. Super, Superman has super strength. Clark Kent was made by by Jewish people as a Levite because he wore a cape now you know that the Hebrews when we fought war we wore a cape but in the opposite direction now if you look up Super Superman or Clark Kent he represents a Jewish Levite a Jew Levite prophet now we know one that's a Levite, Jews, a Jewish prophet. Well, Jew, not Jewish. A Jew prophet. His name is Moses. I shouldn't even use that word Jew, because Jew is for Judah. So, let me just say Moses, the Levite. And he also impersonates King David. Let me show you why. Let's open your Bible up to Psalms eighteen twenty nine. This is King David speaking. For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my power have I leaped over a wall. So King David leaped over a, a tall wall. This is where he got the character power of Super, Superman to jump over buildings and walls. And we know who saw, uh, saw, um, Samson was. Super strength. Super feats. And Moses, he was a prophet. Now, Ka'el or Ka'ala means the voice of the Most High. See, these Jewish powers know what they're putting in movies. They're not dumb people. They're putting things in your face. Let me show you further proof that Superman impersonates Christ. Remember in the movies, the old one, Superman 1, 2, and 3, and the new one, the Man of Steel, he's a savior of the earth. He left the earth and the second to last um, Man of Steel movie, the return of Super, the return of Superman. When he left the Earth, he waited for a while, and then he came back to deliver the world from evil, just like Christ. When he was crucified, he left. He's still here spiritually, but he left. When time for resurrection, he comes to comes back to return to help us, just like Superman did in the movies. You see how all that work out? And then I'm going to show you further proof. He's also impersonating our father, Ahaya. Watch this. Let's read Revelations 4.2. And immediately I was in the spirit. And behold, a throne was set in heaven. And one sat on the throne and he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone and there was a rainbow round about the throne and the sight like unto an emerald and round about the throne were four and twenty seats 
And upon the sea I saw four and twenty elders sitting clothed in white remnant, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. And out of the throne proceed lightning and thundering voices, and there were lamps, seven lamps of burning before the throne, which are the seven, the seven spirit, spirits of the Most High. Now, if you watch the Superman movie, part one, the old one, when Superman realized who he was, when his cave was made of glass, clear stones, represent the house of the Most High, he went in the cave, he put the stones in there to talk to the elders. His elders were seven people or more on the throne talking to him, what happened, what happened to Krypton. Just like if you watch the new Man of Steel. Remember before Zod got sent to the um, Phantom Zone? They have council there wearing white suits and robes. Sitting together and talking about what to do with this evil dictator Zod. It's just the same thing with white clothing making decisions of judgments. And I read to you that this, the throne of the Most High was like crystal. Superman dome in the North Pole or the South Pole, wherever it is at, it's like a crystal. Let's read Revelation 22 verse 1. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of the Most High and of the Lamb. There, that's more proof that the Heavenly Father house is like the shape of a crystal. So now you know that Ahia's house, when he comes back to return to earth, in the, whole, in the new heavens, will have crystal-like structures, clear crystals. Let's read Revelations 21 verse 10. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain, and showed me the great city, the holy Jerusalem, descended out of heaven from God, having the glory of God, and her light was like unto a stone, most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. Just like the place of Superman, made of crystals, clear. And had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates. And at the gate, twelve angels, and the name written thereon, which are the name of the twelve tribes of Israel. See, this is showing you that Hira knows the second heaven is going to be like crystal. May I like crystal house and stuff. Let's skip down to verse verse 14. So Revelation 21 verse 14. And the wall of the cities had twelve foundations, and in them the name of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city and the gates thereof and the walls thereof. And the city lieth four squares and length is as large as the bread it. And he measured the city with the reed, twelve thousand furlongs. The length and the breadth and the height of it are equal. And he measured the wall therefore a hundred and forty and four cubits according to the measure of a man, that is of the angel. And the building of the wall of it was of jasper, and the city was of was pure gold, like unto clear glass. More evidence, clear glass. How Superman cave looked like clear glass. And the foundation of the wall of the sea were garnished with all manners of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third cordoni, the fourth an emerald, the fifth sardonyx, the sixth sardaris, the seven chrysolites, the eighth barley, the ninth topaz, the tenth uh, chrysophorus, the eleven jachnix, the twelfth artemis. 
in Artemis. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Every several gate was of one pearl pearl and the city of the and the streets of the city was pure gold at it was transparent glass. And I saw no temple therein, for the most high Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon, to shine in it, for the glory of the Most High did lighten it up, light, you know, lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. The Lamb is Christ. So that's showing you that the glass in Superman's cave, he has a whole bunch of crystals there. He has green, red crystal, he has um different type of color crystals he have in his cave the glow different colors now just like he imitates the most high crystals when he returns back to earth for the second heaven this shows you that Hollywood knows the Bible too they're not stupid people so it's time for us to get into our Bible as well um, before I leave out I have a link below the video it shows you that Superman represents Moses but all in all I'm finished Shalom guys God bless